Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to install a four-prong range cord on an electric range. So first thing I'm going to do uh, is locate my terminal block. And on this particular range, it's right here on the obviously back side of the range and it's going to be right behind this uh, this panel. So I'm going to pop this cover off so we can get to that. All right. This right here is your terminal block. And as you can see, you got black wire over here on the right, your white wire in the middle and your red wire on the left. And on the four prong range cords, you got four wires. You got the black, you got the red, you got the white, and you got green. So of course, color matching, naturally you're gonna see, obviously your black's gonna go with the black, white with the white, red with the red. Now with the green, this is the part that um, you can see here. This right here is a bridge that connects the white wire to the frame, grounding it. So when you're installing a three-prong cord, you would actually, you don't mess with that. But in this situation, because we have a four-prong cord, what you have to do is unbridge this, and then you'll, and, and, and then you'll see in a, in a moment here, we're gonna connect the green wire to this green uh, screw right down here. I'm gonna go ahead and start off by removing the bridge out of the way. Just get it out of the way and undo it here. So that's popped off. I'm gonna just bend it out of the way for now. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and feed the prongs right through here through the bottom and I already have a clamp put in place ready so that I can uh, secure the cord all right cool next thing I'm gonna do is right here where the red, white, and black wires are is a nut that's secured to the terminal. It's an extra one used primarily so that you could secure the wires. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop those off. All right, those are out. And I'm gonna go ahead and start connecting my wires. So this is just slides in right over this side and go ahead and put this back on to secure this red wire. Make sure these are nice and tight. You don't want any loose connections. So make sure that's nice and tight. And then here, I'm gonna go ahead and put in, actually before I do that, just so I have ease of access, I'm gonna go ahead and connect my green ground wire. So that's gonna go in the same spot where that bridge was connected with the green screw. Let's go ahead and pop that on. It just goes right down here to the back and then use the screw to tighten it down. There's my green wire. Again, nice and tight. The next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and attach my white wire right here in the middle. Tighten down that. Make sure that one's nice and tight as well. And now finally we're gonna go ahead and put on the black wire. That's it. You got, you got the black wire installed and then this is nice and good. We can, you got this bridge that I had removed. I usually just bend it out of the way. You don't have to necessarily take it off if you don't want to, you can. Some people choose to take it off. I just like to bend it out of the way, just in case for whatever reason, you get rid of the stove or whatever it is, or somebody has to change it and put a three prong cord, it's there so that it could be bridged back. So I just bend it out of the way as you see. And then um, my final step is gonna be just to go ahead and tighten down this clamp down here so that it holds, it secures the, the cord to the stove 
and there's no possibility of getting yanked out. So we'll secure that down. That's it. And that gets it. Oh, there you go. Nice and tight. There you have it. That's how to install a four prong uh, range cord on an electric stove. I hope this video helped you out. Like and subscribe for more content. Thank you.